All right, 848 on this soggy Wednesday morning. Fortunately, uh, you know, all this rain that we've had this week, that held off for Iron Man and for the PGA last week as far as the, the widespread stuff, right? And now the rain we've had this week. Uh, obviously, we're watching river levels and lake levels very closely as Memorial Day weekend is almost upon us. Uh, a lot of these levels had dropped off significantly in the last few weeks have we gotten a dry period here, but um, uh, some of them have come back up another foot or two. Of course, Fort Gibson and Tenko are a couple weeks ago, these were 25, 30 feet above normal. So those have slacked off quite a bit, but they are still uh, above normal. Fort, Fort Gibson, eight above, Tenko are 13 above. That's still very high. Uh, Hula, 11 feet above. Keystone's come back up about a foot, about 14 feet above. So those are pretty high levels and will likely hold there at least for the next day or two as we head into the holiday weekend. Also, some of the river levels, of course, we talked about the flooding on Highway 20 east of Skytook. A lot of times that's, uh, yeah, that is caused by Bird Creek. Bird Creek running at that minor flood stage around Sperry and Owasso. Leveling off for the most part. Might climb another half a foot to a foot in some spots, and then should start to drop below flood stage tonight into tomorrow morning. Caney River near Ramona, minor flood stage. Should be kind of leveling off. The forecast for the Caney River at Collinsville has it climbing about another three feet into moderate flood stage. It has been trying to level off recently, but nevertheless, uh, Bird Creek, Caney River, those uh, Water basins are pretty full right now. We'll be for the next day or two. Another uh, soggy look from Gathering Place. Another day where park plans, outdoor plans, unfortunately, uh, not very great. We're in the 50s, Tulsa to the west, low 60s to the east as we pick up a northwesterly breeze. Some of the showers have been steadiest for the last several hours, way they've been the heaviest the past few days. Uh, Payne County, Creek County, Pawnee, Osage counties. Fortunately, rain rates are a lot lighter than the past few days, but another half to three quarters of an inch of rain could fall on top of what we've had already. Some of those light to moderate downpours across across Tulsa as well. And then further east, you had quite a bit of a break this morning, but some spottier light showers now. Muskogee, Tahlequah lifting up towards Grove and Grand Lake, southeastern Oklahoma. Once again, kind of like the last couple of days, not nearly as much happening south of I-40. That's kind of been the trend the last day or two. This is all due to a very persistent upper level storm system. This is the water vapor satellite, so moisture in the upper levels here. You can see it's all streaming north, not really moving to the east. The upper level low is back in here. It's going to sit and spin for at least another 24 hours. That's why it's going to take us a while to get rid of the rain chances. So the showers we have this morning lift north this afternoon, but we'll still have some lingering downpours in spots, highs in the 60s. Tonight to tomorrow morning, that upper level low uh, starts to pinwheel and then drops back south. So you notice the rain moves back out of Kansas into northeastern Oklahoma. Tomorrow morning, it'll be another probably damp drive and a cool one, lows in the low 50s. Notice we still have some lingering showers even into tomorrow afternoon, but you do also, if you notice closely, that trend starts to finally push a little further east later in the day. Highs, though, still most in the 60s because clouds will be quite persistent into Thursday. Friday, we finally break out of it as the storm system moves away. A cool morning. I think Friday will be a nice end to the week with highs in the low 80s. Uh, we'll be back to a little more summer-like conditions with very limited, if any, rain chances the way it looks for the upcoming extended weekend. Highs back near 90 Sunday and Monday. It will likely be fairly summer-like, not only temperature-wise, but humidity-wise after all the recent rain. More than likely will be muggy for the weekend with a much stronger south breeze Sunday and into Memorial Day Monday.